Hey guys, more videos here from Level 10 Gamers and today I've got a bit of a different video than I normally do uh, just because I think it is necessary to do it. Um, it's about my Acer G276HL gaming monitor that I bought about seven months ago. <sighs> I've had some issues. I think I've resolved them now, but it's still to the point uh, where I had to actually figure it out myself instead of finding it on YouTube. So I'm putting it there for you guys so you don't have to look. Um, these monitors suffer from a major ghosting issue. If you don't know what ghosting is, I'm going to put a picture right about here-ish um, that shows you kind of what ghosting is. It's when a frame stays or the last frame stays for a little bit when you move something like the cursor is on this picture and you can see it sort of has a little ghosts or shadows following it. Uh, mine isn't that bad, so don't worry, it's not that shit of a screen. It just has some issues when it comes to like competitive gaming, uh, especially noticeable in PUBG or player unknown battlegrounds or battlegrounds depending on what you call it, where once you're scoped in or zoomed in through a scope and you move a little bit and you can see the uh, door frames kind of sticking or ghosting uh, and it's extremely annoying because it looks like there it, it looks like it looks like there's somebody there um, which uh, you know you don't want that and um, also the, the monitor is hella bright first turn it on I was like looking straight into the sun and oh my eyes my eyes so um, there's that um, it's not the most expensive monitor there is it's a fairly cheap gaming monitor and um, doesn't have free sync or J sync or any kind of sync at all it's got an HDMI input and it's got uh, DVI input I even think there's a D sub if I remember correctly um, I've only used it, I've used it with a DVI uh, cable, that's not good. I've tried it with a display port to HDMI adapter cable, it was very cheap, so I thought it might be that first. And I also tried it with a like mid-range HDMI, HDMI cable until I actually solved the problem myself. Now, um, According to what I found on Google, these monitors don't have the options to disable overdrive, which is the feature that generates the ghosts. Um, but looking through the actual menu on the thing, it's got a feature called OD or overdrive. And mine was set to extreme, which is it's kind of strange because I reset it and it goes back to extreme for some reason. Um, so that might be the default setting. It's got normal, extreme and off. So I'd ex assume that normal was like basic settings, but extreme is apparently what Acer says that I need. I, on the other hand, I don't agree with that. So I'm going to show you how to disable overdrive on these monitors and um, Hopefully that solves any ghosting problems for you as it has for me. One more thing that I don't like about these displays is that the physical buttons under here, their placement doesn't fit very well with the arrows on the OSD. Um, it's not a major issue, you get used to it, but it's kind of annoying and it's the first, at first I thought I was pressing the wrong buttons like what the hell's wrong with me. But anyways, let's um, show you the OD setting. So menu, yep, hit it. And we go down to settings. And we go down to the thing called OD, which is not overdose, but it is overdrive. Mine was, as I said, set to extreme, which is just stupid. So we're gonna go ahead and click off and uh come on back button there you go okay so overdrive disabled now it's like a g-sync monitor no it's not just kidding it is as good as it's going to get um it is just a 1080p 
mid to low range quality and price range uh, monitor which has one millisecond response time it's good enough for me uh, right now I wouldn't buy it again though keep that in mind if I were to if I were to buy a new monitor today I would rather save my money for just a little bit longer and get a predator or um, more fancy monitor than this because basically I would have gone for a G-Sync monitor um, and also 144 Hertz just to have the nice new features that they bring and also um, with thought of future upgrades. Anyways guys, um, if you got this monitor and this helped you out, please press the like button. If you didn't like the, the video, press the dislike button. And remember, we have a Discord server up. The link to the Discord server is in the description below. We'd love to see you on there and we really like to interact with you guys, our community, and it would be great if we could build a community together.